So how do you sync your audio and video in Premiere Pro? In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way on how to do it, so let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar L. Takrori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. Sometimes we do tech gear reviews, but also we do tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to just let you know that I'm going to re be essentially referencing the how to start your Premiere project. So just, I'm not gonna go through the full extent on how to get to a sequence and then syncing it all up. So just keeping that in mind, if you haven't seen that video and you want to make sure that your settings are right to even begin with, uh, check that out. I'll put in the YouTube card and in the description below, but let's get into it. All right, so for this example, I kind of have a testimonial or like sit down uh, interview style thing. I have two different angles. I have a wide angle and a tight angle. And then you could see the audio from the camera uh, right here below. Uh, however, this isn't the audio that I want for it to be used for the main actual project. I want the audio that's from my recorder uh, that we use from the boom mic to be used. And so I have two different audio files here. I'm just gonna drag them all on their own track this is very important that you do so you want to make sure you drag out all your assets onto separate tracks now once you do that all you have to do is select everything that you want to be synced now it's really key again that things are dragged on their own track so once i select it all and if you didn't notice i just hold down click and hold and then i drag a box you can also you know command a if you're using mac or control a if you're using windows uh, select everything uh, that you want to synchronize. So I'm just going to draw a box around that which I want to sync. Right click, and then I'm going to hit synchronize. Now you want to just make sure that the audio uh, little selection is selected, and then track channel one. Hit OK, and then voila, Premiere does all the work. It's the coolest thing ever. I feel like Premiere didn't always have this. I mean, this is now it's kind of getting old, but when I first started editing, this wasn't the case. I kind of had to eyeball the waveforms, and it was kind of time consuming, but super easy. Now, all I essentially do is I'll just delete the scratch audio because I don't want to use it. And then, um, and now I have everything I need. Uh, I can come over here, delete tracks, and then I delete my audio track just to keep it clean. Boom. Like now I got my, you know, clip and then we're good to go. Now let's just say that you did select everything you wanted to be synchronized and then you right click and oh no, synchronize is grayed out. Uh, the chances are is that you just have something in the way. So you might have selected an extra clip or video clip that really is uh, in the way. Like I said earlier, make sure all the assets you want to sync are on separate tracks. So if you could see here on the left side, I'll just zoom in. Uh, I have a clip that I accidentally left right here and I accidentally selected it. So you just wanna make sure that that's either deleted or you're not using that to sync. Now, if you wanted this clip to be synced at some point, you definitely want to just get it on its own track and then you can synchronize it. If you notice, uh, boom, now you can synchronize it. And so that's just if your synchronize is grayed out. All right, so that's how you easily synchronize your audio and your video in Premiere Pro. This was a very simple example. Uh, now, if you have a more complex situation where you have a bunch of audio clips uh, and a bunch of video clips, I would say using a uh, creating a multi-camera sequence, which we have a video on that. I'll make sure I link that up in the YouTube card and in the description below. But if you got value in this video, smash the like button for me. Thank you so much. And question for you is what is your biggest pain point in Adobe Premiere Pro? Would love to make more tutorials like this to help you out. And uh, also make sure you check out our uh, Premiere playlist. We have a ton of videos on just teaching you basic things on Premiere Pro so you don't uh, mess up your videos, mess up your quality. We're all about Team Crispy here on Think Media. And so check that out. You can click or tap the screen and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.